Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how you can create a film style grain on your images. I really love the effect that this creates. I think that it really helps give that kind of film effect if that's something that you are wanting to achieve with your images. And I really feel like it gives it just kind of that really nice professional finishing touch to an image. It's actually quite a simple process to apply a grain in Photoshop. And usually this is how I like to do so. You can add grain by going into Lightroom or Capture One as well and I often use these processes too however I do tend to feel you've got a little bit more control when you apply in Photoshop so I wanted to show you guys this technique today and hopefully you guys enjoy the video okay guys so one of the first things that I like to do when applying a grain in Photoshop is I really like to consider how heavy I want it to be so in this instance we have quite a bit of texture going on in the image and I kind of want to match the texture that's on the skin tone for example and kind of get a grain that's around that level of texture that's kind of going to be less noticeable in this area but maybe pick up a little bit more um, texture in these kinds of areas as well around the skin so I really like a soft muted grain most of the time and the way that I would create this is by first off duplicating the background copy layer so I would just drag that into the new layer button to uh, duplicate it I'm going to rename this to grain and then I'm going to go up to filter noise add noise so I like to keep my grain amount around the 16% mark so that's usually a pretty good uh, even amount you can see sort of how it's popped up in the skin tone here and that's usually the amount that I like to kind of have it set to I usually keep it as uniform in terms of distribution and I also have monochromatic checked. A lot of people will have this unchecked and will have a color grain. I don't like how that looks personally and you can see here how apparent it is when you uh, really get in close. So I like to check that as monochromatic, makes it a black and white grain and it just kind of mutes it a little bit more. So I'm now going to press OK. And I usually like to make it a little bit softer than this. So you can kind of see if you zoom in, it's quite, uh, it's quite choppy in terms of how it looks. So I'm actually going to adjust this by going to filter, blur, and then Gaussian blur. And you can really change the radius of this to wherever you kind of like it to be. I'm going to make sure that it's probably a little bit softer. So you can see how that's just kind of muted it even more. It's just made it a little bit more softer, kind of stretched out the pixels a little bit to be a little bit more blurred. So I'm going to leave it as that because I want this to be quite a soft grain and press OK. And now while I'm zoomed in, I'm actually going to do a really quick before and after. So I'm going to turn this layer on and off. So you can see here when I turn it off, there's no sign of a grain and then when I add that back there's like a really nice soft texture you can also adjust this further by adjusting the opacity I usually like to go a little bit heavier on the grain layer first and then kind of adjust it back with my opacity when I need to so I'll probably just keep that at around 80% I think so taking that on and off you can see how much of a difference that has made so I'm gonna now zoom out to it's on screen and I'm gonna do a before and after you can't notice it as much once it's zoomed out, but it does add a nice level of texture to the image and really creates uh, that nice effect, especially when you're looking a little bit further. Uh, I'll just do a quick before and after again, and you can see how much texture that's kind of added in these sections, just like you've opened it up onto a magazine cover and it's got that really nice film style grain to it. So hopefully you guys have really enjoyed this tutorial and hopefully you've learned something new as well. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial today. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, make sure that you do. I'll be posting a lot more tutorials on here in future. Thank you guys so much for watching this video again, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.